please welcome, for the first time on our show, Barbara Corcoran. Yeah. Way. Nice to meet you also. <laughs> I've always wanted to meet you. I love your dress, you. first of all. Can we thank you? Can we do a shoe cam? Oh, of course. Come on, my favorite shoes are on my feet every day. Perfect. Yeah. Perfect. <laughs> so you like me live in New York City. How is it yes. going for you? You're saying that everything is up, up, up. And I'm saying, um, the killers are out. You know, the, 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 the pandemic is high. And all I want to do is stay in the house. <laughs> you, when you're asking, is it up, 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 you're talking about real estate? Yes. Yeah, that's what I thought. That's my game, real estate, you know? <laughs> Well, you want to know it's a it's a split city right now. Uh, the rich people have a problem; they can't sell their units. No one wants to move in and start their family here right now. They're just not they don't exist anymore. But if you have a starter apartment, a one bedroom, two bedroom, they're selling like hotcakes, like you've never seen before. Oh. Because everyone who's in a rental uh, wants to get into get it, get their hands on something cheaper right now. It's a great time to buy. I don't know if you're selling; you're too rich; you're never going to get what you want. But if you were poor, it's a great time. Wow. Barbara, I find it fascinating that you've been married for 31 years. Because, you know, a lot of times, a lot of times, and look at him, your husband is very handsome. A lot of times, women who struggle and get to the top of their game, we mm -hmm. never get the love of our lives. And the idea that you've been married for 31 years is amazing. But even more amazing is that you proposed to him. Oh. Oh. I actually proposed to both my husbands. I've been married twice. Oh. The oh. reason I proposed to Bill, I don't regret it, was the right thing to do. He had so many girls chasing him. I knew if I didn't close that sucker down immediately, I'd never get him. So I just Close proposed the deal. Hardly and you know what? He said, yes, that's all that's important. And we've been married since. And I can't say every day's been happy. I know you're positioned that way. Marriage is tough, as you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, you have two grown kids, though. And do they live with you during this pandemic? Or are they out of the house? My son Tommy's all grown up and has a wife of his own, so he's not with me at all, of course, during the pandemic. But I did have my 13-year-old daughter, Kate, and I can tell you I treasured those first four weeks with her, and then the second four weeks I couldn't wait for her to get back to school. Not that there's uh -huh. anything wrong with it, mm -hmm. but, you know, it can be tough 24 hours a day. She was more tired of me than I was of her, but I still treasure that time we had, and I don't think it will ever really happen again. Mm. Hmm. Hmm. I love watching Shark Tank. And I love seeing, I love seeing all of you guys, um, you know, pit, I love seeing the people on the show pitch their deals and then you either reject them or accept them or whatever. All I'm saying is I want to whisper in your ear behind the scenes. Wow. Just saying. Well, I have cats. I love them. And they, they need stuff. And I've noticed stuff about them during this pandemic that maybe cats need stuff. They're sisters. I got them from rescue. Their food is particular. Their litter is particular. They're, they're very particular. They're snobs. Just saying. I, I hear what you're saying. Well, did you buy that great deal on Shark Tank that offered a little... A kitty mat that looked like real grass, and your cat could go on real grass, and no. you change the grass every day. No, right up your alley. No, yeah. no, no. It sell very well. No, <laughs> I like the one where they go in the in the cubby, and the door closes, and they go to the bathroom, and that's that. I saw that. I didn't like it. Just saying, Barb's. Uh, I well, can't. There's another good 
might be interested in, where you get your dog, where you get your dog or cat to go on your own toilet, and it works. Oh, excuse me. Nobody uses my toilet but me. We talked about this the other day. Barbara, I cannot believe you are seventy-one. Come on, you... I had two cases scheduled for a third one in January. That's the secret to my youthfulness. <laughs> the Botox? What do you, what do, you uh, do? Not so much Botox, but I'm a queen of filler. I really like the filler. Mm -hmm. you know, your face gets really skinny as you get older. Mm -hmm. And I have a great trick, by the way, uh, because it's hard to tell when you need new filler. You know, you're always not sure when that schedule should be. But I fill my ear with filler. And I just squeeze my ear and I know when it's running out and mm -hmm. I make an appointment. Mm -hmm. It's a very clever thing mm -hmm. I do. And I'm always on time with my filler. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Your, husband, those ears? your husband also looks really young. Does he do a little something? Never. He's a meat and potatoes type guy, Bill. I'm surprised he brushes his teeth in the morning. Never mind, put filler. Oh. No. Barbara, tell us about your new podcast. Well, what I do one thing very well is I give good advice. I'm just, I've always been able to do that. I get that from my mother. In my podcast, people dial 888 Barbara and ask me all the questions they want about starting a business, changing jobs, getting a raise, getting rid of a terrible boss, handling issues. And I give straightforward advice. And so uh, people respond so well. I get hundreds of calls a day and we, we answer all those calls on the podcast. 888 Barbara? Got it. I'll expect to hear from you tonight. You'll hear from me right after you uh, go back there. Thank you, Barbara, for being here. Shark Tank, everybody airs Friday nights at 8 on ABC.